One of the things we emphasize at Freeman Academy is academic rigor. And uh, while academic rigor includes um, critical reading, critical listening, critical writing, critical thinking, it's not just a matter of learning the material well. We recognize that what matters is also who the students are becoming by learning the material. So when we talk about learning uh, and the materials that we use and the exercises that we use, we don't want those to just be challenging. We want them to be meaningful in a way that helps them to become lifelong learners. One of the fortunate things that we can do in our Spanish class is we have small classes and therefore we can do many additional activities that go along with our lessons. For example, if we're studying foods, we can take a field trip to the local grocery store and they have their lists of Spanish items that they need to look for. We also can have our local Hispanic families come in and they show us how to prepare foods and they work with my students and the students get an opportunity to make the food as well and then of course eat it at the end. Bringing the culture of whatever country we're talking about into the classroom is very important. What really sets our science classroom here at the Freeman Academy apart from other schools, I feel is we really try to incorporate a lot of hands-on activities into our classroom curriculum that reinforce the concepts that we're covering at various times. Um, some of the activities that we have done is we do a rocket launch outside with pop bottles and we've also done, uh, recently did an egg drop uh, where the students utilize Newton's laws of motion as well as looking at the effects of inertia and they built a uh, device to drop an egg, a raw egg of course, um, to, um, with using styrofoam and masking tape and some paper towels and things like that to keep the egg from breaking from a pretty good fall, actually. Um, you can tell they're engaged, um, they get involved in the activities, they help out, or they are creating something. And it give, really gives them an opportunity to think through things and to analyze what might happen in a situation versus just hearing about it. So one of the things I like to use in some of my classes is simulation. Um, I like students to be able to put themselves into different roles and to creatively imagine themselves uh, having to grapple with a problem that they wouldn't have to as a teenage student. And so, for instance, in government, uh, a simulation that we have been working on is one where the world is facing some sort of global cataclysm where governments have collapsed and societies are in shambles, but there's still people, and people have banded together in different groups. And in this exercise, we have four different groups with very different personalities and very different interests, pursuing very different goals. Uh, but they realize they cannot sustain themselves alone. So they have to come together and produce a joint declaration of rights and responsibilities. But they have to do it in such a way that they're true to the, the nature and the interests of their own group while learning to negotiate and make deals with and clarify their principles and commitments. I really appreciate my classes here. Um, it's a good balance of like challenging stuff and easy, so it's not too hard or too easy. It's, I think it works at a great pace. Um, and yeah, I think that the teachers do a great job like for answering questions if you have, when you need any help or, you know, just being there for you if you need it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that this school really helped me grow as a young adult because it's kind of challenging to like know how to set a schedule and manage your time in a good way. So I think that was really um, a good experience so far. I think basically every teacher encourages the students to go ask questions if they don't understand what's going on. They actually care about the student knowing what they're learning instead of just following the assignment and just writing down the stuff, doing the worksheets or whatever. They want them to actually understand the concepts and be able to think logically. <laughs> If 
fine arts, I think, is the kind of Freeman Academy specialty with there's art and music and uh, ComTech with putting together the yearbook. In past schools, at least I've been in, um, I had no idea how the yearbook got made. Uh, the only part of that was having your picture taken, but now I can actually see where those pictures go and how people come up with stories to write in the yearbook about sports or stuff like Schmeckfest and festivals and stuff. I've really enjoyed coming here. I've come here since my freshman year and now I'm a senior. Well, coming from being homeschooled for large majority of my life and then coming here, the school definitely helped me transition uh, even through all my ups and downs. I thought I had a good choir director at the public school I was at. Amy's probably the best out there <laughs> from what I've seen. I never thought I'd be big into acting, but I've loved it overall and the community around it is so great here. The people are so great to work with and I've made so many friends that I thought I would never have been able to make before in my life. I think that Freeman Academy has given me a strong foundation to build my future on. That's what Freeman Academy does here. Um, they change and mold us into people who are ready to um, go out into the world and be lights for Christ. One thing that sets Christian education apart is that we recognize that the human person cannot just compartmentalize their faith from other aspects of how they live their lives. Uh, and so we actively put those together, not in a way that compromises either academic rigor or faith, but that helps integrate them uh, and develops the person as a result of that. So when we talk about meaningful education and meaningful learning, it's about developing the person uh, moving forward as a person who is uh, a thinker, but also a person of faith, as a person who has social needs and relational needs, as a person who has a developing sense of self. And all of those things are constantly on our minds as we're putting together lesson plans and as we're talking as a faculty about uh, how we program our education here. Uh, and so I think that's one thing that sets us apart and makes us special.